Are you managing in England and looking for the ultimate source of English homegrown players? In association with Passion for FM, I give you this list of the best young English talents in Football Manager 2020. For everything Football Manager, visit the Passion for FM website, passionforfm.com. The first name on the list is Aaron Wan-Bissika, the 21-year-old wing-back now playing for Manchester United. Just joined them for a fee of £45 million from Crystal Palace, where he did win their Player of the Year award for the 18-19 season. He's a very speedy, very quick, very hard-working wing-back. He's a player who I think looks very, very good. If we have a look at how he looks at the start of the game, he's got 18 for tackling, 15 for acceleration, 15 for pace, and he's got 14 for work rate, and he's looking very, very good already at the age of 21. He's got good determination as well. So, given the right development, given the right coaching, he could turn into an absolutely world-class right-back. The next name on the list is a graduate of the world-famous Manchester United Academy. It's the 18-year-old Angel Gomez. He can play anywhere along the top line of the attack. He can play in the AML, AMC and the AMR and he is completely comfortable in any of those positions. His main characteristics are his quickness, his dribbling, his technique and his flair. And if we have a look at him in the game, you can see he's got 20 for flair, 17 for determination, 16 for acceleration and he's got to be one of the highest potential players in the game if not in the country because if you have a look at some of his attributes or some of his achievements that he's made already he's captained England at under 16, under 17 and under 18 levels he was regularly named as a substitute for the under 18s while still at school and he made his first appearance for the under 18s when he was just 14 years old so that shows you just how much potential United think he has. And at the start of the game, he's on a breakthrough prospect contract. So maybe some lower league managers, maybe Championship League One, might be able to get him in on loan. And I think he could do a very, very good job at that level. With the attributes he's got, he reminds me a bit of a young Joe Cole. And me being a West Ham fan, that is very, very much high praise. And so it will be interesting to see the kind of careers he has in your FM20 saves. Please do show me how he's getting on in a few years' time down in the comment section down below or in the Passion for FM Discord channel. The next name on the list is Callum hudson Adoy, the 18-year-old who is part of the revolution that's currently going on at Chelsea. He can play anywhere from AMR, AML and AMC. He's perfectly natural, perfectly comfortable in each of those positions. But his favourite role is the AML with the inverted winger. He likes to cut inside, likes to make runs at the defence. And his main characteristics are his quickness, his dribbling, his technique, his flair and his vision. Which do all perfectly make him suited for that role. In the game, he's got a 16 for acceleration, 15 for pace, 15 for off the ball and flair. And his first touch and his dribbling are both 15 as well. So he is a very, very good young player. It's going to be interesting to see how he gets on. The one weak spot I would say he has is his determination and his finishing. But he is still 18. They can be improved. I think, give it when he gets to 23, 24, again, he's another one who, with the right training and the right coaching, could be up there for winning European Player of the Year, maybe even World Player of the Year, if you can train him and get him playing all right. How long have we got, people? Because I could talk about this next guy all day long. It is, of course, the 20-year-old English Declan Rice. He plays as a defensive midfielder for the greatest team the world has ever seen, West Ham United. 
and he is a guy who I really think is going to be a future West Ham captain, a future England captain. He has got it all. He's only 20 years old. He's one of the most cool, calm and collected 20-year-olds I've seen play in a very, very long time. He's got brilliant characteristics for his tackling, his work rate, his positioning and his determination. Let's have a look at him in the game. He's got 16 for tackling, 17 for determination, composer of 17. That, I think, will only go up in the next few years. He never seems to look flustered or out of place or out of position or anything like that. He is a man who I think is going to be an absolute world beater in the next few years. The only thing that maybe lets him down is his acceleration and his pace. But I suppose for a defensive midfielder, that's not terrible. And yeah, he looks very, very good. Uh, I, I've got to stop myself because otherwise this video will be two hours long and nobody wants that. The next name on the list is Jaden Sancho, the 19-year-old playing for Dortmund over in Germany where he plays on either wing, either in the midfield or the attacking midfield roles. His main characteristics are his dribbling, his technique, his vision, his flair and his quickness. And you can see the attributes there. Dribbling and technique, both 17s. Acceleration and agility, 17 and 18 respectively. Vision and flair as 16 each. Decisions of 15. And he is the first player born in the 2000s to score two goals in a single Bundesliga game. And he also became the first player born in the 2000s to score in the Champions League for Dortmund against Atletico Madrid. He is looking like an absolute beast of a player. Man City must be kicking themselves that he left them. I would not be surprised if he returned to England on at least a hundred million pound deal at some point in the next couple of years. And I want to see how he gets on in your saves as well. So once again, please do either jump into the Passion for FM Discord or let me know in the comments down below how he's been getting on for you guys because I'll be very, very interested to see. The next name on the list sees us return to Manchester as it's the 17-year-old Mason Greenwood playing as a striker for Manchester United in the advanced forward role with his main characteristics being his quickness, his finishing, his flair and his free kicks. He's got 16 for finishing, 17 for determination, 16 for flair and acceleration as well with 15s for his fitness and his pace. His stamina and his strength and his concentration need to be worked on. But at the age of just 17, I'm sure with the right mentoring, the right tutoring and the right coaching, he could improve those attributes and he could maybe become England's main striker at the age of 22, 23, 24. Something like that is when I would expect these attributes to be at their best. And I'm really looking forward to see how he gets on as well i know a lot of man u fans want him playing up top all the time already for them i think it's a little bit early for that if i'm honest but give it another few years and he could be their main man now we're going across the other side of manchester to the blue side manchester city for the one and only phil foden 19 years old at the start of the game He's playing, of course, in the attacking midfield central role as their advanced playmaker with characteristics of dribbling, passing, technique, flair and movement. And he looks very, very good already. Pep Guardiola, of course, has very high hopes for him and has described him as one of the most natural gifted players he has worked with. And you can see why when you see these attributes. 16 passing, 17 technique, 16 vision and flair as well. First touch of 15 and dribbling of 15. I mean, he's 19 years old. These are attributes that you'd be happy with for a decent Premier League player at like 24, 25 when they're just hitting their peak. 
So God knows where he's going to get to when he does get to his mid-twenties. 16 for agility, 15 for acceleration, fitness and pace as well. He looks an absolute superstar. He's another one who I think could be up there for being England captain in the future. He looks an absolute star. He's a player who I love watching play. We're back in Chelsea for the next name on the list. It's the 19-year-old Rhys James playing primarily as a fullback on the right-hand side with his best characteristics being his crossing, acceleration, stamina and his determination. He's one who is going to be a very, very big part of the revolution at Chelsea, I believe. Because look at these attributes he's got. 15 for crossing, 13 for technique, 16 for determination. That's his best attribute. Balance and acceleration, fitness and stamina. All of 15, all already at the age of 19 years old. I think he is going to be a big, big player for them. Of course, just last week, he did become Chelsea's youngest ever goalscorer in the Champions League when he scored their comeback goal in the draw with Ajax on the 5th of November 2019. And so he's one who I think has got a lot of potential and I think is going to be a big, big part of Frank Lampard's future at the club. We're moving over to North London for the next name on the list. It's the 19-year-old Rhys Nelson. Plays primarily on the right-hand side of the attacking midfield, but can play anywhere on the right, anywhere on the left, or as a central attacking midfielder. He plays primarily as a winger slash inverted winger, and he's got characteristics of dribbling, pace, flair, and technique. And he looks a very, very good youngster. He's got 16 for his pace, 15 for acceleration, dribbling of 15, work rate of 14, technique of 15. And yeah, he looks very, very good. Starts off as, as just a squad player at the start of the game. So might be able to lure him away on a bit of a loan deal. Uh, that would be something I would be trying if I was a mid-table Premier League team or a top-level championship team. I'd be trying to get him away on loan. I think he's another one who looks very good. And it just goes to show all the names on this list so far. Most of them have been very attacking players. So going forward, England's future is looking very, very good. Not to be outdone by their North London rivals... Tottenham have got their own entry into the list. It's the 19-year-old Ryan Sessegnon playing primarily as an attacking midfielder on the left-hand side as a winger, but he can play anywhere on the left, either midfield, wing-back, full-back, wherever you need him, he can fill in and do a very, very capable job. His main characteristics are his quickness, his stamina, his movement, his teamwork and his vision. His best attributes, as you can see there, are his stamina and his fitness. 16 for stamina, 17 for fitness. Teamwork and vision are 14 each. His technicals are where he really needs to improve. He's good physically, he's decent mentally, but technically he does need to improve and improve quickly if he's going to stay on this list for next year. Because you can see there, he's only got 11 for crossing, 10 for dribbling, 13 for technique. He reminds me a little bit of an Adama Traore, where he's good physically, he's, he's good nice and quick, but just technically he just hasn't got it. So again, he's one who is going to be really interesting to see if he can kick on, or if he does become one of these young English talents who bursts onto the scene at a young age, but then just fades away in a few years' time. The last name on this list is the 20-year-old Trent Alexander-Arnold, playing as a complete wing-back on the right-hand side. But he can play, again, anywhere in his own half. Can play in central midfield if required. His main characteristics are his teamwork, his work rate, his passing, his crossing and his movement. And he's a guy who I've loved using for the last couple of years on FM. Going back to my Copping the Title series back on FM 18, I think that was. 
And yep, let's have a look at his attributes. 17 for crossing, passing of 16, anticipation of 15, composure of 15, off the ball of 15. And of course, he's 20 years old and he's already won the Champions League. So, very, very impressive youngster to finish off the list. And yep, well, he's, he's one who I'm very much looking forward to see how he gets on. I think he could be world class in the next few years. And so guys, that is where the list ends. There is going to be a short list you can download in the comment section down below. I will link to that on the Passion for Football Manager website, which is a website you should check out. There's a lot of good downloadable stuff on that particular website. A lot of good articles as well and links to other good fm creators whether that be guys that stream on twitch or guys like myself that create content over on the tube of you and so yep guys that is where we are going to leave it for now if you've enjoyed that video and if this video has helped you at all please give it a massive thumbs up down below subscribe to the channel if you're new for more content like this but also my Kingsland FM20 save. And yep, guys, that is everything. Follow me on Twitter, actually, at Bad Jokes Gaming. And yep, guys, I shall see you later. Bye.